Click Start from scratch. This will bring you to the editor with an empty artboard. Use the drop-down list in the middle of the top bar to set the required artboard size. In our case, it's a Twitter post. In the upper right corner of the artboard, click the palette icon to invoke the color picker. Set the color of the background. It can be solid or gradient. Let's make it gradient. Now, let's add a blob to make our background a bit more fancy. In the left panel, click Illustrations and type blob in the search bar. I like this yellow one. Click it to add it to the artboard. No, it's not what I exactly want. Let's try another one. We can choose from a huge list of similar yellow blobs. This one is good. Use the handles of the bounding box to resize and rotate it. And I also will make it white. Great! By the way, you can use this control to zoom the artboard in or out. Also, you can hold down the command or control key and scroll your mouse wheel. Now, let's pick an illustration of a young man in the 3D casual lifestyle. 3D styles have been very trendy lately, you know. Some shadows will be good here. Now I will add some hearts in the same style and make it look as if the guy is checking out likes on his Instagram. Now that the hearts and guy look great together, select the hearts, hold down shift and click over the guy to add him to the selection, click the group icon on the toolbar, press command G instead, or control G, if you're on Windows. Now we can drag and resize them together as a single object. Now I will add some more objects to the scene in the same style. Use these two buttons when you want to position elements against each other. Place an object in the front or put it behind another object. Okay, let's group all this stuff together. And now text. Text is as important as visuals. Click over the texts tab in the left panel and scroll down to select the font you like. If you know the name of the font you're looking for, like I do, you can type it in the search bar. I'm going to use Antonio in Inter. Click over the font to add a text box onto the artboard. Now let's type the text and adjust it. Looks good, right? Another text box. Now I will make a duplicate. to add the date and time of our lazy marketing webinar. I think I should add a calendar icon here. There are tons of icons in Mega Creator. Just select the icon tab on the left panel and find what you need. Some recoloring and positioning. Nice. Well, our post is almost done. But, I think we can throw in some extra stuff to make it more vivid. For example, a target. Yeah, all marketers love things like that. Here's a nice one. Let's add a shadow, and adjust it.
and a cursor arrow. Perfect. That's it. Our Twitter post is ready. Now I'm going to export and post it.